everybody. How are you doing? I am Glenda with Freylands and Friends. And aren't you glad to see me? <laughs> well, I'm sure glad that you're on the other end. And we're still working on the zoo. <laughs> and I love it. I love it. I love it. So what I have done to get prepared, a little bit pre-prepared tonight, I hope, uh, I've just cut this short piece of wire, which I'm going to start the lion. And this, I'm going to just try to do with the body and the head, get it shaped out. And then when I get to the legs and the tail, I'll use separate pieces of wire. Because we're not working with very big pieces, it just seems to be easier for me to scale if I use the smaller pieces of wire for the legs and tail. But they do need to be there because otherwise they break off. So what I've done is I've started with this kind of, I took that sand color that I made for the camel, which is more of a dark sand, but, and I use some white mixed in with it and I've come up with this kind of buckskin color so looks a little greenish in this light but it's it's more buckskin colored and I hope this will be enough once I get it covered with all these other things for me to roll out and and get most of them covered up with get this to where you can see everything I'm doing I'm just going to wad this, kind of wad this foil up. And I'm going to get it around this wire. Male lions, like the one we're making, they're kind of, from what I've seen, their back end is kind of smaller than their front, front quarters. So I kind of want to Taper the back end down here. I'm going to try and save that part for the head. Because they've got big heads too. So I'm going to start with this. Let me cut some of that off as far as the body is concerned. Okay, now... shape this into a big old liony head sort of <laughs> we all have our little different techniques I guess one is kind of mine. Well, you're probably not able to see. The lion in head in there right now, but hopefully it will come out. This is just going to hold him in there. Big old lion head on him. Because lion heads are big. Especially for the males. You almost can't tell the difference between their head and their body. Especially if they got that big old mane on them. Don't look like much right now, I know. But 
A lion is a cat, so their face is not as, it doesn't have quite as much pointiness to it. what this thing thinks it's doing. I've got it in camera. Trying to make a little bit of a collar around here or that kind of a give some separation to that head. And then there's the lion's face right there. By the time we do ears here and here, mouth and nose, good anchor this in good because I've got the bottoms covered too. It should hold this together pretty good. He stands. One more piece of wire. That way, I to cut the other one off because this way I can shape it the way I want. Because I kind of want to have him go up, out, and down a little. There we go. And then, of course, he'll have his fluffy tail with the little tuft thing on the end. I'll have to look that up. Reshape that down just a little more. There. And there's the beginnings of a courageous <laughs> lion. So this guy has to be baked for a while. So I think this will be our progress for tonight. And hopefully we can get him finished tomorrow. Even if I do end up having to fix him up and then paint him, that'll be fine too. We'll, whatever we do, we'll be fine. He looks happy. <laughs> He's standing on his own four legs. He doesn't even have his feet. Well, I did not finish him tonight, and I hadn't really intended to. But I am glad that I found some more of that, another chunk of that sand color I put on the camel. Because now I can make more of, more of the, what do you call that, buckskin color is what I called it. Or fawn. No, it's a little lighter than fawn, buckskin. Because I'm going to need more of it. He's turning out to be a pretty good sized lion now. And then I'll make something just a little darker than that for his mane and probably for his paws, for the hair on his paws and the end of his tail. 
with some maybe some little streaks of brown over that so just kind of hitting the highlights so we'll find out how that goes though tomorrow I had a little bit of an issue I went in the kitchen and I could not catch my breath I thought okay I, I had walked quite a ways back and forth forgetting things so I thought, okay I just got to stand here a little bit keep breathing my oxygen and I realized I'm not getting any oxygen <laughs> so I tried to yell at Joe and I yelled a couple times and he didn't hear me He's, he gets to sleep so I came out into the living room of course yes I'm telling a story here but it's a real one I came out I'm oxygen brain okay I came I came from the kitchen back into the dining room and tried to untangle my tubing because I thought okay tubing gets tangled it gets a kink things don't go through well we got that untangled or <clears throat> I got that mostly untangled still nothing nothing coming through I start to by this time I'm really getting huffy because I had also walked back and I called Joe again and this time I really yelled it <laughs> which isn't that easy when you're low on oxygen but I just have I can yell no matter what and what <laughs> I said I don't have any oxygen so he came out we we un, I mean we checked everything was running we 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 un, made sure there were no kinks in anything finally I found out that the tips because the oxygen tubing don't be grossed out but this goes in your nose okay and if you've ever been around anyone on oxygen you know that and the tips where it comes out can sometimes get really really narrow now that's for some reason at some point the oxygen had stopped flowing I don't know why it if we unkinked something or what but we checked at each junction and it was flowing right through but it was starting to just seep through here it wasn't really coming through well so and then I I checked the ends because I I could feel with it but I thought you know another day or two well when I really got to look to feeling the ends of it I, they were so dinky and narrow it's no wonder I, I was probably getting enough to get around all day I know I was because I took my oxygen and I am fine now I took it and I was I'm not going to tell you what I was when I first took it but I'm up in the 90s well into the 90s now so it's only if it don't come back that we have trouble <laughs> so must have oxygenated blood to the brain so the rest of the body helps too <laughs> so I just had to tell you that story not to scare you but to let you know you can find humor in the worst of things at least if they come out okay <laughs> I mean if they don't come out okay it's a little harder but if they come out okay you can have a little fun with it so let's hope our lion comes out okay so we can have a little fun with it <laughs> I love you all I'll see you tomorrow do subscribe and click that notification bell give us a thumbs up and love yourself give somebody a smile and a wave and just take care love you all good night <laughs>